Yo, what's down in the hood, homies? It's Chandler Klebs again, and I have another video about my art, and this time I want to show you what I've been working on recently. Um, on my last video, somebody commented and told me about this website called Society6, and so I'm going to open my web browser here. Uh, okay, first I'm going to switch to recording on my screen here. And then I'm going to go down and go to my Google Chrome web browser because I want to show you this society6.com website. It's actually really kind of cool. And I've submitted like about either 10 or 11 things on there so far, which is hardly anything compared to what I have, obviously, because I have, um, yeah, I have like about well over a thousand things just on my DeviantArt account um, even if I don't incl include the animations which I can't really sell since they can't be printed you can't print an animation on something but um, this Society6 website is actually really nice um, okay let's see here in case you're wondering that that use deodorant reminder um, is a how I remind myself to use my deodorant um, especially on days before I go go to work because sometimes I don't use deodorant when I'm not working at Hy-Vee because I don't plan on being around people anyway um, okay so here's the thing this right here is basically my store on society six and all I had to do is it was kind of a process. I had to upload several things here. So here's a few things. There's different products here. There's um, there's pillows. There's um, oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. I think I have to sneeze. <laughs> okay, I was just able to blow my nose. Never mind. Okay, that's the kind of thing that happens. Now some of these look cool. But here's what my favorite thing is, is the all over print t-shirts. Um, now, some of these pictures are not showing up. I don't know what the deal is, why they're not showing up. I don't know if they're still processing or if that's what's going on. However, um, see this. Now, this here is showing up, which is nice because this particularly is what I'm interested in. This is a chessboard shirt, and okay, let's see here. This is this is exactly the type of thing that I would wear, you know, personally. And so people would be able to see this. I mean, it's sure it's a bit expensive. I didn't actually set the price of these things. It's just default prices they set. And let's see. I want to see if the pro if the size of it makes a difference. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's nice. I don't think so far. It goes to up to extra, extra large. That's really cool. Oh, what's this? There's a three underneath the heart. Yeah, let me see what happened there. Yeah, I don't know what, yeah, what that heart is. I think it's like favorite or something. Um, so anyway, even if nobody else buys any of my art that's on this site, I would personally buy such a thing as this because I love chessboards. And of course, it's not like I really have a copyright on chessboards or anything. Anybody can do that, but I've never been able to see a shirt like that sort of a thing. Well, let's see here. Um, let's look at some canvas prints here. Um, so these are some things I've done here. And really, the, the, basically, a lot of this is really old stuff. Some of it's new. Like this very strange pentagram, that's brand new. This six-stripe hexagram here, that's kind of old, but I pulled it out of my email because I actually have lost the files to a lot of my art, but I used to email myself backups all the time. So even though this stuff was done on a computer with Linux years ago, it still works. Now this here is really cool here and I hope to see this on a shirt someday as well. Um, so here's the thing. Now there is just one little thing missing um, from my, my store and that is pants. Okay. 
So basically, I want to get some of my designs on pants. Let's see. Oh, I need to. Oh, I need to log in. For some reason, I'm not logged in. Okay. Um, and then I want to. Oh, okay. Let's see. I want to go here. It's just sl slow loading here. So what I want to do is I want to enable. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go to the chessboard 24 by 24 because this is a nice thing to start with. I'm going to attempt to see if it's possible to get that design on pants. And as you see here, this shows products what they would look like, including a clock and some pillows, all of this amazing stuff. You know, it's a very simple design. Any, any, I mean, almost anybody could do this, but. I really like it and I don't see how there'd be any problem with me doing this. I'd use that backpack. I would totally use that backpack. That is amazing. Okay, so yeah, there's the all over print shirt. But here what we have is we have leggings. But notice it says, seems like your image file doesn't meet the requirements for this product. Click through to edit your image placement or upload a new one. This won't affect other products currently featuring this design. Okay, so. Let's see. Um, first of all, I want to make, yeah, it looks like I'm still recording. That's good. See, it, it says, if it says stop recording, that means it's currently recording. Okay, because this is important. I want you to see this. Okay, I'm going to go here so it says upload and edit. Okay, so it says let's get this product started. To enable this product, upload an image that is um, minimum dimensions. Width must be at least... Uh, 7,500 pixels, um, 6,500 uh, pixels given. What does that mean? Um, let's see. Chip, simply increasing the dimensions of your existing image will not result in a quality product. Starting with larger images will y yield better results. So, um, so I'm not entirely sure I understand. Um, that's a little weird. That's, that's actually very weird because um, now my designs are, um, yeah, width, width must be at least 7,500 pixels. Yeah, my designs are all squares. All of my designs are squares. Um, so I don't know if it will be able to automatically adjust it. If not, I have other methods. So I have a folder here. I call it the silent artist just because this is the folder I started doing stuff. Like here's my drawing when I was recording videos and stuff of me doing art. So I may still continue that series, but I'm not being a silent artist in this video because I am trying to show you some amazing stuff here. Now, first of all, I have a little bit of an organizational problem here. Okay, so basically, I need to get my files organized according to their type. Um, so, because there's the there's the SVG files, and those um, are the files that I open in Inkscape. So those are extremely important. I'm going to select all of these, and then put them into the SVG folder. And then what we have here, you'll notice that I have these various files here and they are different. Um, some of them are just named a certain way and then others are the 6500 pixel versions. So here, here's how, how it's going to work. Um, basically, um, all of the regular ones, um, I'm going to call, I'm put them in the PNG regular um, uh, folder for now. I can always change that later if I don't like it. And then I'm going to select all of these um, different things here. Let's see. In fact, actually, I'm not going to worry about doing that for now. I'll show you a few things that I have here. Yeah, there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that, that, that. Yeah, see, those two are the same. Yeah, some of these are just different dimensions of the exact same thing. Okay, yeah. 
uh, absolutely wonderful looking stuff. Yeah, so anyway, pretty much all those are for sale as prints. But what I need to do is I need to go to my my chessboard uh, file here. Now, where is the chessboard? Now, that's strange. Oh, that's right. I put all the SVG files in here. Yeah, that, that's important. And I don't know why this will not remember my options. I want it to always display um, all the details of the files. Okay, so here's what we have is we have the chessboard 24 by 24, um, which is actually interesting because I can't remember what the difference is between the one named just chessboard and the one that's chessboard 24 by 24. So I'm going to use InkView, which is a program that's just installed along with Inkscape to see what it looks like. Okay, that's strange. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty straightforward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so if there's 12 black squares, then there's 24 squares altogether. Okay, so yeah, I actually don't really need that file because it's identical to this one. And based on different numbers of squares in my chess boards, I'm going to be naming the files different things. So now here's the issue is that this file here, I may need to, I'm going to enlarge it. I'm going to tell this program that I want it to be 7,500 pixels um, in both of those dimensions and then I'm going to set this to 75, change the name of the file, and it's going to export the file. Yeah, let's see here. Okay, so that file should have appeared somewhere over here. Yes, there is a file now here, 7500, and it's very it's very crazy it's a very large file given that it's a huge dimension you can see the different file sizes: 5 kilobytes 183 kilobytes and 235 kilobytes but basically they're all different sizes of the same design but they show up the same size in this program the Windows Photo Viewer so now that I have a larger resolution image okay um, then I'm going to I'm going to find this uh, file here. Yeah. Let's see. Where's the. Okay. Yeah. Here's the chessboard 24 by 24 with 7,500 pixels. Now, let's see what happens here. Wait. It says. Okay, it says minimum dimension height must be at least nine. Um, so, okay, now I'm not understanding this exactly. I think what it might mean is that it needs to be a different. Um, it needs to have different dimensions. So have a height that's greater than the. Um, yeah, the height that's greater than the width. So as you can see, this is my first time doing this. Um, I, I will try one more time just out of curiosity, see what it does here. Um, I will try doing one more file here. And if this doesn't work, then I'm going to have to make up different dimensions. OK. Yeah, we'll have to see, because I may have to modify this just a little bit okay let's see here because yeah um, I I'll, I'll figure this out once I've done this once then I'll know how to do it again for anything else
Oh, interesting. Ooh, I see. Oh, I didn't have to do, um, yeah, I didn't have to do a modification of the file. As long as the resolution is high enough, it does it automatically. Yeah, this is really, really freaky. And what does this scale thing do? Let's see. Our proprietary six panel cut and sew construction provides an unprecedented quality and fit and versatility with an adjustable waistline for wearing high, lower, or somewhere in between. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's see what the scale is. Oh, I see. So basically, it automatically lets me crop the image the same way that a Facebook image lets you crop things. So basically, if I scale if I scale this to its 100%, then all I really need to do is just pick any... Um, with this kind of image, it shouldn't really matter very much exactly where it's cropped because either way, there's going to be all of these different... Um, yeah, diff yeah, all of these different types of things here. There's going to be lots of squares. So, I mean, I think that's probably good enough, although I may modify it just a little bit. Um, I Yeah, I know. I will have... Yeah, I'll try to make it so it's like about even. Okay, I think that's good enough. So, let me see if I save and enable this. Yeah, it says it's saving, and I hope that this shows up as... Now, I think leggings is the same as pants. I don't know that for a fact, but it looked like pants to me. Um, so, okay, I, let's see. It says it's saving, so I don't know how long it'll take for that to save. But anyway, this file, um, I don't need to save it because I didn't actually edit anything. But I'll show you something cool. I'll show you, see this is a group of 288 objects. This is the black squares. And the white squares are actually not there. This is one big white square. Just one enormous white square. And what's neat about this is this means that if I, I can change the color of these, um, these uh, all these little squares very easily. So like, let's say I wanted to make them green, but then I wanted to select, um, let's see, I want to select just the white background and turn it magenta. I can totally do such a thing. That's what's neat is I can change the color of these squares to be pretty much whatever I feel like at the time. That's another reason the chessboard is great. All you need is two colors, any colors. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna close that without saving because I don't want to ruin it. Let's see here. Let's see. It says ready to go. Save and enable. So I'm clicking the button again. Okay. So let's see if it actually worked. So let's see. Where am I? I'm at the top there. So if I go back here, um, let's. Oh, wow, I can't believe it worked. Can you believe this, people? This is amazing. So that's basically what I had to do um, is I, I had to um, just basically change the dimensions of that um, to the 9,000 pixels using my existing design, which was already based off of the 720 pixels. So let me see here. Let me see if there are any other products that are not yet enabled. Let me see here. I wonder, um, in fact, I wonder if I might be able to just upload a 9,000 uh, pixel image to begin with. Let's see, ooh, here's a beach towel. What if I want a chessboard beach towel? Okay, people, I gotta do this. Okay. Okay, the asset provide. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. I'll I'll just let me. I'll just see if it lets me uh, use the same image I already made. Um. 
there's a chance it might work. Maybe it'll just let me crop, crop it automatically. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Incredible. Awesome. I think, yeah, it works. This lets me, I'm going to position it so that, like, right at the corner there or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I just love the way that looks. That's amazing. Wait, what's the scale here? Oh, weird. Yeah, that changes it a little bit. Yeah, that's a little strange. But as long as I get this position right kind of the way that I had it before, then it should look fine. You see why I love the chessboard people? It just goes great on everything, There's no matter what. Okay, it says it's saving. Yes. Okay, that's that's amazing. Let's see if there's anything else. And then, oh, here's a here's a bath towel. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select that same file. So now, as you see, once I have this enormous file, I'm able to just apply it to so many products. In fact, I also want to see. Um, let's see. Once that. I want to see what this does. Well, I already did did the beach towel, but I'll select that anyway because it, it should be fine here. So yeah, so that will save and enable. That means I'll be able to get any kind of towel, a bathroom towel or a beach towel or whatever. This is just amazing. I cannot believe how cool this is. So now that I know the process, this means there's one more thing I have to do. I need to go back, let's see, how do I, let's see, okay, back to all posts, that's where I go. So what you'll see is, I also want to do this with my black and white puzzle square. Okay, so I now I know the process I need to do. This means that, let's see, um, yeah, see, I already have the puzzle square PNG and the 6500. But what I'm going to do, yeah, there's there's all this amazing stuff. I'm going to, um, let's see, okay, oh, you're right, that's right, okay, I, this, this file, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm even going to need that one, because I'm just keeping the SVG files uh, in a separate folder for backup purposes, and I don't need this extra backup file, that's just weird. Okay, so now... I'm going to open my puzzle square.svg uh, file. All right. So now this should work fairly similar to how the last one worked. Um, let me let me make sure. Yeah, everything is right with that picture. And actually, that I just noticed something a little bit strange. I noticed that there's a it's showing like a border yeah 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 I guess I want to show the border that's no big deal okay so this um, should be absolutely just fine I don't I don't know what that what that is okay I have too many things over here so I'm going to 9000 and 9000 and yeah that should do it so I'm gonna I'm gonna up I'm gonna export that file and then I'm gonna use that to some other products here and remember um, part of the reason this video is valuable is I'm not only am I showing you the behind the scenes things of how some of this works. This is an idea for any of you other artists out there. If you want to, if you want to learn how to use Society Six and you want to get 
things uploaded, then you can do that too. Because if, if I can figure it out, I've only figured it out in a few days. Well, actually, since yesterday um, when somebody told me about the website and I joined. So, yeah, there – oh, yeah, isn't that an amazing shirt? That is such a cool shirt. But now it's time to put this on the pants. So now let's go to our um, puzzle square 9,000 pixels. Yeah, this website just takes a little bit of time to up uh, to uh, upload these huge image files. They're huge when you increase the dimensions of them. Okay, so I'm going to scale this and now I'm going to put this here just like I did with the others. Let me see here where exactly this belongs. I Let's see, I could either do it there or I could do it there. I'm not sure. I mean, these all of these look absolutely amazing. This just looks so cool. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's probably good there. And it says download the lane template. What is that? I don't, I don't think I need those. Probably not, because this just lets me do everything I need. So I'm going to save and enable that. Okay, so now it's time to go. Man, these look so amazing. I could look at these all day. This is crazy. Whoa, these look so sweet. I can't believe this. Oh, man. Okay, so now it's time to... Uh, do it on the towels. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, where's where's the puzzle square? Let's see. Um, yeah, the nine thousand pixel one. And I'm also going to apply it to um, the other similar products. Let's see here. It's really cool. Yeah, I can. Yeah, because if I wanted to show it only on part of the towel, I could do that just by making it smaller. But I want it to cover the whole thing, obviously. You know, that's that's a big deal with me. Yeah, let's see. What's the best way to do this? Oh yeah. Something like that. Yeah, that this just this just looks so cool. I can't believe how amazing this is. Although maybe I can make it just a little bit smaller so that I can okay, yeah, I'm gonna set this down to 90% just so that I can fit a few more of these squares. Really it's triangles, but it looks like squares to me. That's kind of the illusion part of this. So now I'm going to save and enable that. This is, I'm very impressed by how this is working so far. And so let me see. Now that, now I'm not sure if I'm going to end this video now or if there's more I, I'm going to do. Window curtains. Huh. Let's see. Oh yeah, I want to enable the hand and bath towel. Okay, let's see about window curtains, because... Okay, let's see, where is the... Yeah, there's the 9000 pixel one. Still loading. I can't wait to see what this looks like. I'm sure this is going to look amazing. Oh, cool. So let's see here.
what have we got? We've got, yeah, we've got some, ooh, freaky. Let's see, I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller, down to 90% like I did the last time, so I can fit, yeah, whatever, I'll go back to 100% here. I love that this just lets me crop things the way that I like. Yeah, this is so amazing. And I have so many designs on here. It's just unbelievable. Okay, yeah. I mean, I mean I have a lot of things on DeviantArt, but not not all that many things are on here. So, let me sure. I'm pretty sure everything's enabled there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure on this design, it looks like every single product is enabled. So yeah, I mean this is this is absolutely wonderful. Now before I end this video, there might be something else I need to do. Let's see here. Let's see, um, yeah, there's incredible stuff here. Yeah, let me see. There's hmm. Yeah, ah, uh, let's see here. The chessboard unicorn. Yes, this, I think this will be the last one that I do for this video. Um, basically, the chessboard unicorn is one of my favorite things ever. Um, and so you can buy prints of this, you can get it on a pillow, all sorts of things. So let's see here. Now, on some of them, it doesn't quite look right. It doesn't really look right. I don't even have these enabled because it doesn't show the whole horse. And if it doesn't show the whole horse, then it's just not right. Um, but let's see. Yeah, I don't know if this design will particularly be very good on on things like that. Maybe not. Okay, so what, what I'm actually going to do is the butterfly, I suspect, may be popular as well. So instead of messing with the unicorn chessboard, because that that's already about as good as I can get it, I think, um, let's look at what the rainbow butterfly would look on some of these products. Okay, yeah, there's a basic prints. It just looks absolutely amazing. That is the cutest little butterfly. So yeah, um, those all look really good. Oh man, this yeah, this butterfly is is so neat. I think that looks fine the way it is. I'm not going to change that. But let's see if it's possible to get the butterfly on pants. It'll, it's probably going to look weird if I do it, but let's just try anyway. Okay. This means I need to go to my butterfly.svg file. Okay, and then we're going to export this to a size of, oh yeah, it needs to be the page, yeah, and then it will be the 9,000, yeah, the nice thing is that this video, after it's uploaded, will remind me of what dimensions I need to export my files to. Okay, so let's see here. Now that file should be there. So let's go to the butterfly 9000. Yeah, okay, so let's see here. I don't know how good this is going to look or not. This may look kind of strange. Um, it probably won't quite look right the same way those patterns did. Those patterns are really nice. Um, oh, how strange. That is really strange there. 
Yeah, I don't know. That is so weird. <laughs> oh, this is, this is going to look really funny. It's not going to... I don't think this is going to look right at all. But I'm just going to try it like this, and it'll still be really uh, colorful. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's see if the if it's going to show what it looks like on the pants. And if it doesn't look right to people, they won't buy it. So, problem solved. Weird, it's not showing up. Um yeah. So, I don't know about that. Um but what what I do know is with all the work that I, I do on here, it's probably important for me to make another backup. Okay, so I'm going to do a test because some of these files are huge. I'm going to look at the properties. It takes forever just to go down to the properties here. Okay, that's over 20 megabytes, all that stuff. However, the size of just the SVG files alone probably is not very large. Yes, less than a megabyte. Okay, so I'm going to show you people what I do. I do this a lot when it comes to my art. Um, I Basically, I just email myself. I have like three email addresses and only the Gmail one do I actually check. But you never know when the others might come in handy. Okay, so art backup. So basically I'm just going to leave an empty message here and then I'm just going to attach all of the SVG files here. And it's just going to it's going to slowly upload those to my email and then I'm going to email it to myself because after all this work on these files and pulling them from strange places on my hard drive, I want to make sure I don't lose them. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to send this and then I'm going to do some other art related projects, I believe. Okay, so anyway... Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. This has been me um, trying to get some of my designs onto pants. They were already on other products. And so theoretically, people who can afford these things and are interested, they can buy my stuff and I would get some sort of royalties. I probably won't get very much. I probably only get a, a small amount of what people actually pay. Um, but I don't want to increase uh, whatever the royalties, even if I can, because I want to keep them as cheap as possible, too, you know. But, I mean, personally, it'll make me happy if I am someday able to buy these things just for myself and wear them, you know. So, anyway, uh, that's what I'm currently doing in my quest to try selling my digital art. So I hope that you've learned something from this and leave me any comments um, if you have any questions or if there's some art you'd like me to do for you because I can design special art by request and or if there's something you'd like to see on shirt or pants. Maybe I can draw it, maybe I already have it and maybe I can get it upload on Society6 or maybe Zazzle because I tried to... Uh, do something on there as well. So anyway, um, thanks for watching and goodbye.